the next idiom is to break the ice now to break the ice we have five options to start a conversation to quarrel to end hostility to terminate friendship to melt now you may think to break the ice virtually means to melt it doesn't have that uh, literal meaning imagine there are two strangers waiting in the bus stop for waiting for the bus for a long time no bus turns up so just to kill boredom usually this is how they start they both are strangers they don't know each other so one person makes a comment something like this pretty hot isn't it he doesn't give make this comment to the other person because he doesn't know the other person the other person listens to this and say yeah this city is pretty hot so he replies then he makes some other statement then he makes some other statement slowly they come together they start a conversation now the idiom to break the ice therefore refers to uh, the meaning option a to start a conversation but remember any conversation between friends or known persons or officer and subordinates that is not breaking ice the conversation should be the first conversation between strangers that is only called breaking ice so the meaning of the idiom to break the ice means to start a conversation now the next idiom number 6 is a storm in a teacup a storm usually comes in the seashore in the form of a tsunami etc how can there be a storm in a teacup that means sometimes silly very trivial unimportant things are blown out of proportions things that need not be blown out of proportions sometimes are made into very big issues people are very fussy about such things in fact there is another idiom in english called to make a mountain out of a mole hill a mole hill is the ant hill where snakes live and if you look at a mole hill and describe it as a mountain you are exaggerating something which is not a mountain so a storm in a teacup is much excitement over something which is very trivial trivially silly unimportant but if so much fuss is made about uh, um, an important thing then we say a storm in a teacup the meaning of the idiom a storm in a teacup therefore is much excitement over something which is very trivial now the seventh idiom to wash one's dirty linen in public now to wash one's dirty linen in public imagine a husband and wife are quarreling they are quarreling inside the house at one point of time they come out onto the street and start scolding each other the husband calls all names to the wife her father her grandfather and her whole family and the wife uh, pays back with compound interest she starts scolding the husband's father mother now people in the locality they shouted them saying don't wash your dirty linen in public go inside and quarrel this is what we mean to wash one's dirty linen in public there are certain things which are not to be discussed before others before strangers it is better to keep it to ourselves now in that sense if you look at the options it is the option c to discuss scandalous personal details before strangers to wash one's dirty linen the idiom means to discuss scandalous personal details before strangers that takes us to the eighth idiom to rise like a phoenix now in this connection we should know something about uh, um, the word legend 
A legend has many meanings. You can say Sachin Tendulkar is a batting legend. There it means a popular person, one who has great achievements to his credit. But legend also means a popular belief. Now, one of the legends, there are many legends about elephants, about snakes, about gods and things like that. There is a particular legend about the bird phoenix. Remember, legend need not be true. It is a popular belief. The legend about phoenix is that if you shoot an arrow and kill the phoenix bird and then burn the dead body to ashes, the bird will come back to life from the ashes. You know, this is scientifically not possible. But still it is a belief that uh, the bird will come back to life. Now, the meaning of the idiom is something like a person who had been occupying a very good position, maybe in government, maybe in politics, maybe in sports, maybe in entertainment field. If he falls from his position, unfortunately, but if he works hard and gets back to the same position of acclaim, then you can say that he rose like a phoenix. Now, you can take the example of Yuvaraj Singh. He was found to be suffering from cancer. Therefore, he was uh, out of the Indian cricket team. But he didn't lose heart. He underwent treatment. He took up rehabilitation. He worked hard, got back his physical strength and technique. And then he came back into the Indian team. So you can say, Yuvaraj rose like a phoenix. In that sense, if you look at the options, the correct option is option A, which means to rise with a new life, just as a dead phoenix comes back to life from the ashes. Any person who loses his position gets back to it because of sheer hard work we say he rose like a phoenix. So the meaning of the idiom to rise like a phoenix is to rise with a new life. Now the next idiom is white elephant. People may think that an elephant is not white. Therefore a white elephant may refer to something which is a rarity. Now all these idioms have some sort of origin. The, some sort of etymology. It is believed that in a particular country there was an elephant which was white but it was falling sick very often. So the king had to spend a lot on the treatment of the elephant. The cost of the treatment was much more than the cost of the elephant. Now, White elephant, therefore, refers to any scheme or project which is not profitable, which is uh, consuming a lot of money, which is not worth investing money into. Therefore, the, out of the options provided here, it is not an impossible outcome. It is not a hybrid elephant. It is not a special scheme. It is not a fruitful project but it is an expensive scheme. You can make a statement like don't invest any more money into that project. It is a white elephant. Means if you invest, you will not get any return. The meaning of the idiom white elephant therefore is an expensive scheme. Option E. The last idiom therefore is to take with a pinch of salt to take with a pinch of salt. This idiom has nothing to do with the salt. Though some of the options reduce salt intake, maintain optimum blood pressure, avoid salt completely, they are all distractors for you. Now, if a party, a particular political party in a state, before the election, you know, all the parties, they publish their manifesto. Manifesto is a list of promises made by the party if it is returned to power. Now this particular party in a state promised that if it was elected to 
power it would supply ration items door delivered to the citizens now this is humanly not possible it thought that it would attract people by this promise but people were very clever they took this promise with a pinch of salt and that's why the particular party which gave this promise was not voted to power so the meaning of the idiom to take with a pinch of salt is to accept something with caution don't take something very seriously accept it with caution we have now uh, answered 10 questions on idioms and it is time for you to go through the test where you are given a set of idioms and five options for each of these idioms to choose from now do the test then we will review the correct option for each of these idioms thank you very much Oh, 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 oh.